The next big issue with the left hand is the opposable thumb. It's called the opposable thumb for a good reason. It opposes your other fingers. So you want to use that natural clamp at the end of your arm to clamp in between like that. In general, keep this in mind. You don't want to push too hard with your fingers. You don't want to push too hard with your thumb. It'll unnecessarily cramp the muscles in your arm, hand, and fingers. It will also make it too hard to move your hand up and down the neck as you need to to change positions or to slightly adjust for different chords. Looking at the back side of the neck, I want to point this out. This is one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they start playing the guitar. They want to use the palm of their hand to cup the neck. Then, number one, their opposable thumb is useless. It's not providing any pressure back here and it's hard for them to reach their fingers around to get to a chord that they're supposed to be playing. For example, I'm supposed to be playing these. There's no way I can play this chord if my thumb is all the way up here. So, remember, your opposable thumb opposes your fingers. Keep it back here. Make sure that your palm is not touching the neck. Make sure that you've got the back of the neck here with your thumb and the fretboard, the front side, with your fingers. There's also something that I typically tell beginner students to refer to as the axis of power. It's kind of an imaginary or invisible axis on either side of the fretboard that as one side tilts down, the other side tilts up so that you can imagine a line that goes all the way through, that goes through the back and then out the front of the neck. Essentially what happens is as your thumb moves one way, your fingers move the other. So, when you're supposed to be playing notes or chords down here on the lower strings, your thumb is down low. Then, as your fingers move across the neck to the middle, your thumb moves up from the bottom to the middle. Then, as your fingers go over to the higher strings, your thumb is up here. So, notice that basically it's a rotating type motion. As your fingers are on the lower strings, your thumb is over here. As your fingers gradually get over to the higher strings, your thumb rotates down so that you're maintaining this axis, this balance of power, so that you're using your opposable thumb to best support and provide opposing power for your fingers to clamp the guitar neck in between.